so today I'm going to be reading the dumbest idea ever. So let's get started. Then on top of that, no way, the TV station is going to do a story about you. Yeah, right. Yep. Tomorrow night. But you know, it's no big deal. Ha, uh, he doesn't... He doesn't take care about TV. All he cares about is his new girlfriend. She's hot. He, did you make? Did you guys make it out yet? Tell us. You gotta sit thick with her. I hear she's rich. Yeah, her dad is a lawyer. Rich, heck, man. I'll date her. Me too. Mm -hmm. I had a Mer Mercedes. Mercedes. Mercedes and a Saab. Yeah, stick with her and do get her old man's money. Then you won't need to draw comics. Gee, thanks for the advice. Do you ever feel like uh, you you live on the wrong planet? Only every day. Listen, I needed to talk to you about something. Well, it's few teachers have approached the student council about having a special day about celebrating your comic book. Really? Yeah, how does that sound? Great. Uh, good. Um, we thought that a, maybe you can give a presentation and... Uh-huh. Oh, boy. So, tell me. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, um, well... That's a good question. I don't know, really. It's just stuff that I notice or stuff that I think about sometimes. Some stuff that I find funny or interesting. Do you feel that uh, your work has a message? Well, I guess, hmm, I guess if people read the, the book and uh, if think about the things and the characters are go through. Maybe they realize that's a, the things kids think about or experience are serious and know, or at least uh, they are try they are to kids. I think uh, adult, sometimes adults forget that. Saw you on TV. You did great. Were you nervous? I bought a comic for my niece. Wait to see a logo kid make good. You're so talented. Now, yeah, are y'all going to win uh, this game tonight? Well, it does feel good having the home court advantage. Hey there, big star. Ha, huh? well, you know how it is. You look very cute on TV. I'm uh, proud of you. Thanks. Now, if you will excuse me, I, it, we'll... We have a gamer, so I need to go and excel at, a, at yet another thing. Sigh. They've created a monster. Bzzz. Did you see that? What a game. Huh? Why are you so happy? What do you mean? I scored 27 points. A personal best. Yeah, there's just one problem. You were on the loser team, Goober. Oh, uh, so you want to go get a cheeseburger? Maybe you can excel at that. You're hilarious, know that? Thanks, maybe I should write a comic book too. Hey, did you see the newspaper this Saturday? Nope. Well, check it out. A huge article about yours truly. Wow. Cool. Yeah, I guess they wanted to boost the, the old circulation, so they featured me. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, is it that you in the paper? Duh, Einstein. It's an article about my comic. Oh, yeah, I read your book, but I didn't really get it. I'm not surprised. You're not. You're kind of an idiot. Drop dead, jerk. Back at ya, loser. So, how about that game on Friday? Was that something or what? We lost badly. Man, why does 
Why is everyone so hung up on that? So my second comic will be coming out soon. Do you think that I should start charging for autographs? Autographs. Oh, don't worry. I'll give a teammate a discount. Later. Hey, Tony. Sigh. What now? I was thinking about the whole comic book day thing. Do you? There's not gonna be a comic book a day. I killed it. I don't think anyone can stand any more of the Jimmy Gamley show. You what? Maybe it's a, not just about me, huh? Maybe my comic got attention because because of something cool finally came out of the stump. Whatever, man. I hope you're having fun. Sigh. So, good morning, poke poke. Oh hi. Geez, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm just in a bad mood, I guess. Bad mood, huh? So, what are, are we、uh, gonna be a miss? Be Mr. Grumpy Pants all day now? Yes, maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to be Mr. Grumpy Pants all day. Is that allowed? No. Now come here and look. Tada! What? The New York trip? Who cares? They do it every year. Yeah, but this year we are going together. Ellen, come on! It's just way too expensive to pay for the bus and buy and buy a ticket for the show. Plus, there are plus there are all of the mule, mules and stuff. It's just too much. Not a problem. My dad is paying for the whole trip for me and a friend for of my choosing, and I'm choosing you, friend of mine. Seriously, seriously! Wow. This is really incredible, huh? How is that possible? I've never been to New York and before. Actually, it's quite easy. Look at the me being not not being in New York right now. For my next trip, I won't be in Kentucky. Sigh, Jimmy. Shut shut up. Seriously, this is so cool. They tell my. Your dad thinks. Okay, well, because we get to the city early, we'll have time to sightsee. There's just one small downside. Beep beep beep. Sleepy, huh? You know, I get up every day at this time. Well, that sucks. Ah,、uh, you got, yeah, get used to it. Hi, Mister. Mrs. Gowley, hello, Ellen. You kids have fun today. We will, and be careful. She tends to worry. Oh, I think it's sweet. And so, one to three hour bus ride later, Jimmy, Jimmy, wake up! We're here. Wow. Well, pay students pay attention. This is not Gar Gayardville, Pennsylvania. This is New York City. So please be careful. No one is to wander off alone. Always travel with at least one other person. And remember to return to the spot immediately after your show. We don't want the bus to leave without you. Now. We have a few hours until show time, so you are free to explore, Pwang. So this is the end of part six. I hope you enjoy my video. Bye.